Hello everybody and welcome back to the Football Betting Series here on YouTube Premier League Edition. Last week we took a little bit of a step back and a couple of our over two and a half goal bets fell just a goal shy of cashing, which brought our overall record to 11 wins, five losses and three pushes for a total profit of exactly £60. I've got three picks in today's episode to try and redeem ourselves and a couple of continental picks down below in the top comment. Without further ado, let's get into it. Our first selection sees Manchester United hosting Liverpool, and it was the former Manchester United player Danny Welbeck who opened the scoring in the Red Devils' last game on the South Coast. It was Diallo who equalised after that, and that really seemed to wake Manchester United up as they looked to be the side going on for the win. But a mishap between Garnacho and Xerxes denied the Red Devils an equaliser, and it was Brighton who snatched a late winner courtesy of FM favourite Jao Pedro. For United, they've scored in both of their games so far this season, but two very different results, one win and one loss to their name early on in the season. The away side Liverpool, they made it back-to-back 2-0 -back wins in a row with their most recent game against Brentford. Brentford are struggling to get going and Liverpool took full advantage with their XG of 2.65 and four big chances created suggest that Brentford may have gotten off lightly in this one to just concede the two goals. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, these sides faced off in a friendly over the summer with Liverpool winning in convincing style by three goals to nil. In terms of competitive play, it's been a little bit harder to call. The two league games last season finished 0-0 and 2-2, whereas Manchester United knocked Liverpool out of the FA Cup by four goals to three in extra time. My prediction with it being so early in the year, it is hard to peg a winner. If the game was at Anfield, I would definitely lean towards Liverpool, but I'm liking goals in this one. Manchester United have seen over two and a half goals in half of their games this season, with the most recent game against Brighton finishing 2-1. In the first game, where Manchester United only won 1-0 against Fulham. The two sides combined for an XG of 2.87, which suggests that if those if the game was played again with a similar quality of chances, we would have seen two to three goals scored. Last season, Manchester United averaged 3.03 goals per game, with 63% of their matches seeing over two and a half goals. At Old Trafford, these numbers rise slightly to 3.08 goals per game, and almost 70% of matches saw at least three goals scored. The away side, Liverpool, They've not seen over two and a half goals in either game this season, but as touched upon previously, they could have easily scored more. In their opening game, Liverpool combined with Ipswich Town for an XG of 3.1, and the second game combined for 3.01 with Brentford. Last year, Liverpool's games averaged 3.34 goals per game, with 66% of them seeing three or more goals scored. In terms of away form, these numbers drop, drop but only slightly, to 3.21 goals per game, and 63% of matches seeing at least three goals scored. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, over two and a half goals were scored in the pre-season contest, as well as occurring in eight of the last nine competitive meetings, dating back to January of 2021. At Old Trafford, over two and a half goals have occurred in each of the last six competitive encounters, so I fancy our chances of seeing at least three goals here today. And I'm going to be backing over two and a half goals for a full stake in bet number one. Our second selection sees Newcastle playing host to Tottenham Hotspurs. And Newcastle started strong against Bournemouth in their last league game. But it was the Cherries that took the lead towards the end of the first half. As Newcastle were made to rule the chances they squandered whilst they were on top of the game. The Toon left it late to equalise through Anthony Gordon. And may have counted themselves lucky as Dango Altada's effort was ruled out for handball denying Bournemouth a big three points in their bid for survival. This means that Newcastle, despite looking unconvincing so far this season, have been unbeaten through their first two games and have picked up four points. Their first game appeared to be a bit of a write-off as Newcastle played that match with 10 men for over an hour of the match, but they did manage to pull out the victory in the end. And that's the hallmark of a good team. Can they get results when their performance is lacking? And so far, Newcastle answer that with a resounding yes. They play a Spurs side who really dominated in their 4-0 demolition of Everton. Sun bagged a brace and goals from Romero and Basuma also capped off an excellent team performance. Both sides in that match created similar amounts of chances, but the difference was in the quality of the opportunities presented to the goal scorers. Everton failing to register a single big chance compared to Spurs' six created. It's been an unbeaten start to the season for the Lily Whites, and if they keep playing the football from the Everton game and in the first half of the Leicester match, they could be tricky customers to deal with this year and have a realistic chance of making it into the top four. But looking further back to April, Newcastle managed to run out 4-0 winners at St James Park, which is a feat that was made all the more resounding with missing a number of key players. My prediction for this game is a goals fest. Last year, Newcastle saw an average of 3.87 goals per game, and 71% of these matches saw at least three goals scored. 
These numbers remained fairly consistent at home as well. 3.74 goals per game and 68% of those games saw at least three scored. Spurs, on the other hand, were also a force in the over two and a half goals market. Their games averaged 3.55 goals per game and 79% of matches saw over two and a half goals scored, which is the highest in the league. Away from home, these numbers remained consistent with Spurs seeing 3.68 goals per game and 74% of games seeing at least three goals scored on their travels. When we look at the head-to-head record, each of the last seven and eight of the last nine Premier League matches between these sides have seen over two and a half goals, with an average of 5.71 goals scored over that sample. With numbers like these, it's a no-brainer for me. I'm going to be taking over two and a half goals for a full stake in bet number two. Our third and final selection in today's episode sees West Ham play host to Manchester City. And West Ham, they picked up their first win of the season away at Selhurst Park. Goals from Sojcik and Bowen were the ultimate difference in what was a dead even game, with both sides recording XG of 1.42. They play a City side who have recorded back to back wins at the start of the season, most recently dispatching Premier League newcomers Ipswich Town by four goals to one. There was an early scare for the citizens as Sam Smolik scored after just eight minutes, but this appeared to wake up the reigning champions as they went on to score three goals in a five minute span, capping off the day by adding a fourth late in the second half. In truth, Manchester City didn't really need to get out of third gear for that game, and their title defence is off to a strong start. Form-wise, Man City have now extended their Premier League consecutive winning streak to 11 games, which is a run dating back to April. When we look at the head-to-head records, these sides faced off on the final day of last season, with Man City running out 3-1 winners in very convincing style. They outshot West Ham by 28-3 and forced nine saves from Areola, as well as scoring the three goals. Looking back a little bit, Man City have won each of the last four encounters against West Ham by an aggregate of 11 goals to two. My prediction for this game is I really struggle to see anything other than a Man City win in this one. Confidence is high following back-to-back wins at the start of the year. And they seem to have figured out West Ham with the recent head-to-head record. This, combined with West Ham still integrating some of their new players, uncertain on their strongest lineup, means I'm going to take Manchester City to win for a full stake in the final bet of the episode. So there we have it, three selections in today's episodes, all slightly shorter odds than normal, and that's to just compose ourselves after a negative week last time out. But we start off today's recap with West Ham versus Manchester City, and we'll be backing the away side, odds of 1.39, a £40 stake to return £15.60. and pence. And then on the Sunday, we have the two goals fest games, Newcastle Spurs over two and a half goals, Odds of 1.39, a £40 stake to return 1560. And perhaps the headline game of the weekend, Manchester United Liverpool. We're also going to take over two and a half goals in that game. Odds of 1.44, a £40 stake to return 1760. So across our three selections, we're going to be risking £120 to hopefully pick up as much as £48.80. Will we do so? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune into the next episode. But if you have made it to this point in the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to check out the Continental Picks and the pinned comment down below. And as always, have yourself a lovely day.